Hey, hey, hey. So this is consecutive video to the video that was previously recorded showing you that, uh, you know, we are getting through the hard uh, times, the pandemic uh, caused by coronavirus that um, got rid of uh, a lot of people, a lot of people lost their jobs and, uh, and it's, uh, you know, trying to get some positivity and probably heads up that uh, instead of you know getting into depression and uh, and the negativity that can be caused it is usually caused by by losing a job that uh, there is a chance to get on the positive side of the things taking some action and starting to learn now probably get to the sector that is uh, really showing very good performance even the times of crises that is uh, for instance technology sector uh, one of the best uh, ways how to get into technology sectors that is um, not only got like stable jobs but um, also very good get very good paychecks is to become a Linux system administration and the Linux foundations got a perfect essentials course um, to that to achieve that and it's uh, you know this is the profound course that outlines almost everything that you need is just packed and packed with information and uh, you know ending this will get you the enough information and also a lot of a lot of uh, knowledge from practical labs how to administer the Linux based systems and I believe that in two or three months you know this will be hard and a lot of lot of to learn but if you're dedicated and your number one focus right now is to get a job and if you really like looking for a technology sector then this is the way to go so this is doable so as mentioned I'm gonna show you how to set up an uh, environment environment and uh, AWS because I believe that starting with cloud right away it's mandatory everything is moving to cloud there's uh, basically no need to get some different virtualizations different different systems you know um, Linux based systems just start with AWS and uh, some of their instances so I'm gonna show you if you enroll in this you will buy this course you'll order it you will get the email from the Linux Foundation that's gonna guide you if you you see that this is this is the course uh, I happen to buy more of these courses but uh, this is the course uh, that we use the essentials of Linux system administration if you click their link it's gonna guide you to the dashboard that everything is clear over here basically this guy's developed a bash script that's gonna set all the environment that you need um, from here you will follow this information welcome document for this course from here and it will guide you to this PDF where obviously there are many uh, this is the guide guidebook or uh, the the sheet that's gonna guide you to uh, set set your environment up for different different uh, different ways different methods but as I mentioned I would use AWS right away and this video is about creating an AWS uh, um, environment for learning in, into this course so you get to the uh, using AWS section and you will follow this link it's another PDF that's gonna set you over here this is a specialized then PDF that's talking about AWS free tier the uh, Amazon is giving you like 750 hours I think it is of uh, just a playtime on your on your uh, Linux based instance so what do you do is to first you have to of course you can read through why why is it a good thing to use or to uh, learn Linux Foundation training on the AWS but uh, I already told you the whole world is moving to cloud and uh, and uh, this is this is the way to go um, first what you gotta do is to obtain AWS free tier account and you do it by fo following this link you know over here um, oh, wait a sec actually I'm gonna get to it right away um, 
you will follow this link and you will get to the this page the console and uh, basically you have to you have options you know just like everywhere if you can log in or I'm a new user you will create a new account and uh, this information over here um, what you do is you create a new AWS account and uh, yeah well this is already catched so I have to get to um, the, the, the incognito version but normally for you this story is gonna gonna happen you know you'll have to get your email address password um, confirm password account name everything even your credit card you know it's just the way you go with uh, just like if you would set your account at Amazon for uh, buying products you know and that's the same story I'm not gonna do that because I already got mine um, mine uh, account so I will just uh, let me sign in and if you sign in you will get to this dashboard page over here the AWS management console you can directly follow this uh, number three section launching an instance that's basically what you need to do to start your environment um, so we can just follow it click services get over here EC2 the instance and in your scenario it's going to you're gonna have here over here running instances zero probably because that's gonna be your um, newly time you know your you, the, the first time you sign in into the console dashboard uh, watch out for different regions that you got over here you can set it up you can have like uh, instances you know uh, set through all kinds of uh, regions so uh, this is one thing to follow over here but what you do is you get to this you press this uh, orange button launch instance and you get over here and this is the fun part these are different distributions of Linux and uh, what it is you don't have to be concerned about this Microsoft thing over here this is what you what you basically are looking for uh, first really tag that you need to follow free tier eligible you know this is the stuff that you get 750 hours of, uh, of playtime for free and uh, what kind of uh, Linux distribution you choose is basically your your decision there are in principle you got Ubuntu SUSE uh, versions of uh, distributions of Linux and the Red Hats I would I would go with Red Hats but it's really up to you for the big picture it does not really matter that much because what it is it's uh, that uh, in principle there are different kind of repository different kind of packaging systems that these distributions use so in the end they might look like that uh, you will use different different command for uh, for something but the principles of the system um, just stay the same. It's not like uh, it really doesn't matter that uh, you can go on the you can go on the interview that's going to be you know uh, uh, that th this company is going to use Red Hats and you did your course in Ubuntu. It might be a little bit different, but this is totally like you know the difference is so little to 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 you know to, to cross with your um, learning that it's uh, it's no biggie so what you do is you select and you go further um, this is like I said this is the the tag that you are always following here and you can also look into your cheat sheet or what is it that you can uh, you can check uh, uh, whether you're doing this kinds of things you I guess you could even go to review and launch but if you want it's a uh, first time it's uh, definitely better to get the just to a next level and to uh, look at the configuration events over here not much you really have to choose and, and, and change over here 
actually nothing in it here but over here you go to the uh, storage section where I believe you have more gigabytes to choose from I think you have even up to 30 that you can choose uh, and, and, and work with I think that even 10 should be enough and it is the SDA disk but uh, let's go with 30 I think this is the you see you can change up to 30 gigabytes of general purpose uh, that you can that you can uh, use for your play but uh, really this even even 10 I think should be okay for this course it will be okay for this course so uh, maybe choose a metal point 20 or so um, review and launch basically what you get over here yep okay and this part is going to give you uh, your uh, uh, way how you're gonna connect to these instances if you happen to have uh, an instance if you create an instance before then you have an existing key pair that you can use but it's not gonna be your 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 instance so you're gonna create a new key pair that you're gonna name somehow I mean uh, name it let's name it like uh, uh, play play key download key pair Oop, yep and here it, here it is this is this this is you see you have to download private key or pim pem file before you can continue storing in a secure and accessible location you will not be able to download the file again after it's created so this is the very important file that you download it and you will have to keep it and use it for later launch instance and it's gonna take a while and your instances are now launching as it's as it says you can view them in the next dashboard okay so as you can see this is something that it's in pending mode it's gonna take some time till it will finalize preparing and after this is done your playground will be pretty much ready all right so it took some time and uh, right now as you can see we're running now our new instance that we created in US East um, it took some time but uh, not a lot really about five or so minutes uh, if you see it uh, in this dashboard then what you should do is you click that instance as it's running you can connect to it and this is showing you different options how you can uh, um, connect to this instance and I'm gonna show you the probably the most uh, the default and, and quickest is to use PuTTY or uh, PuTTY uh, depends I guess on, on the pronunciation um, this is the software that is pretty default for the Windows based uh, you know operation systems you download PuTTY for from uh, download page over here you even have it in this manual that Amazon created for us um, but I guess you can you can google it also it's uh, really depends on you um, so over here or you can just uh, google it you know pretty download download it from this official site uh, once you have it it looks like wait a sec this over here this is the thing um, I've uh, already created some uh, some instances over here oh, what is that Let's... oh this is the other one that I'm using but what you do you see this dashboard over here and you have to connect it to it somehow um, what you do is that you go back to your oh where was that you go back to your instances you click uh, you're in here the connect 
and you will use this public DNS for this basically the address that you use for your host name where you should connect you can use port 22 and SSH that's the most secure protocol that you can use for the for connections to the servers you name your service like Amazon Playground or let's say Essentials or something like that you save it and now comes the fun part this uh, this is not the way how you will be able to open and, and connect uh, at first you will have to create the special key that uh, where you will use this, this this spam file that you downloaded now this is pretty default it comes with every putty uh, download what you'll do is you I happen to have 8.1 windows but uh, you just go to start and you'll find your uh, your put again generator generator that uh, where you load the PAM file that you downloaded you'll select you see it's over here key command and you save the private key passphrase or yeah sure um, AWS key as a PPK okay you save it okay that's fine for uh, for the generator all right so we are back in putty over here and we'll go to SSH over here SSH and authorization over here you can leave this menu as it is and you will browse you will browse over here where your key is okay go back to sessions you can save it and right now we'll see if we did something good or not and this is moment of truth so let's open the session Da -da. okay we're here as you can see it opened a special window and the login instance we did not set it differently uh, I bet you can set it somewhere in the in the settings but I didn't so it's normally is EC to user like this you see it's gonna take that <coughs> SSH key and voila you're here over here at the uh, if you know this is the normal listing listing command for your machine see the it's change directory and and this is basically the root system and the, the, all the all the all the all the packaging all the files all, all the all the mm, let's put it this way like uh, like parts of the linux system that you will be learning about what what different uh, different folders what they mean what what uh, what's their um, the reason behind the linux system and everything so this was it but this is still not ready for uh, for this course so uh, if, if you want to go back to where we was where was that ec2 user you, it's usually located in home this is cd home and i don't want to like screw around a lot around linux because that's what you're gonna do in the in the course of course uh, but these are the, the you know the basic commands that you use cd change directory that's actually the same for windows so it might be used for that but uh, ls just listing you know and and change directory and if you look over here ls it's the listing here is that ec2 user so we just type cd ec2 dash and if you just put u and you press tab it's gonna autofill um, autofill and uh, you know this is this is the thing where we, right now we're located and we have to go to that first sheet I showed you that's how it's gonna set 
the environment for that and what you need to do is just copy actually you have a button over here that you can copy just by pressing a button that's uh, that's definitely nice and you can come over here to your window and just uh, press the right uh, mouse and it's gonna paste it automatically okay it doesn't have we get doesn't have we get we get is really some some kind of package that uh, that uh, provides you uh, different utilities or from which you can download to many many programs let's say so uh, what you do is that uh, for um, this kind of uh, system that is Red Hat based uh, you use a repository called yum for different kind of systems like Debian or uh, Ubuntu I think uh, I think just Ubuntu you use uh, APT I believe I'm working more on the Red Hats um, but the, 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 the repository system is just uh, is just uh, uh, one uh, piece of that puzzle what you need to do is you first uh, need to install you need to do that as a root uh, so how, how you would do this is you would put the sudo in front of that because if you would do just like you install uh, I U M install get then you will get the message that you have to be this command has to be run under the root. You know this is this is I'm really trying to uh, like show it to a total beginner and I, I believe that this might be a, you, you know seeing in the first hand the the big. Uh, big task big big thing to see but uh, you know this we're already running an environment running in Linux so this is this is already already the life so you have to you know get sing into the commands right away so what you'll do in this instance you write sudo in front yum install vget and it's gonna prompt you if you really you're sure that you want to download it you type yes and it's gonna download the package and right now you should have uh, vget at your disposal and you can come back to this sheet and start to paste the commands paste the commands uh, as we go so uh, we'll put the change mode because it's setting up different uh, different kind of user rights uh, you will also read about that in the course and you can list it right away uh, these are the rules that you just set with this kind of uh, command um, more of it it's really that's gonna be your journey in the in the in the course but uh, you go further and what you need to do is really to run that script so you'll just uh, copy and paste uh, the, the, the script and there you go you're ready for the course if your previous step told you there are missing packages not really I think I think we're all set aren't we some packages are missing okay then let's do that to make sure that we have everything we need for this course <laughs> okay some warnings but you know these are times and times things that just uh, just happen we are really I think we're really ready for this course and to take it so I mean guys this is gonna be journey I wanted to be as specific as possible and show you all the way around how to how to start and do this and you know you good luck with this I mean this is this is challenging but uh, it's going to be also I think a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of fun and uh, you learn tons you learn tons and if you're really dedicated you need a job I mean learning this uh, you know 
at least four or five hours uh, a day doing their labs really as, 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 as are written in, in the course this can help a tons and uh, you can really make that career switch and uh, get into tech industry so good luck <laughs>